little peanut butter babies. Can you share with your brother? I just didn't have some. Here you go, big boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you guys. All right. <laughs> okay. Can your brother have one last little psh, psh. Why are the <laughs> it's your brother? Here, Snowdy. Come here, boy. He's like, yeah, mom. Yeah, mom. That's my favorite stuff. My sister is trying to hog it all. <laughs> really, honey? You like it that much? Not my word. if you've been paying much attention, but there is another shortage happening. So some of my friends in the restaurant industry were telling me that they're only getting about 60% of um, the orders that they're placing. They're limiting. And I don't know if that's everywhere, but it certainly seems that way if you watch the news at all. Uh, and obviously I do not watch mainstream media because I think it's all a bunch of crap. But, uh, there's a lot of other good news outlets that are actually reporting. I don't want to get into that, but what I do want to let you know is yes, there's absolutely shortages happening. Oh my gosh. So I went to Costco because I do not want to ever run out of toilet paper again for the Charmin. They have these great big packs, um, the, uh, the 30 packs of toilet paper you can get down there, but sometimes they only have the Kirkland. Well, I just went last week and lo and behold, it's back down. It was limited to two rolls. Now they didn't have any Charmin in and only the Kirkland. Okay. So as I was saying, they only have the Kirkland. It was one pallet and you were only allowed one. They had no paper towels, uh, three boxes of Kleenex. I do, uh, as you're seeing my, some of my preps in here, um, I do stock up on like maybe once a month, I get one of these food supplies. They didn't have those anymore. They only had 
I think five or six of the mountain house. I do try to stock up on laundry when I can. I have tons of water tucked in all kinds of tuck in places here, but yeah, so toilet paper is definitely an issue. And that's something that we need to take into consideration. Some of the other things I have, um, if you've watched other videos, you'll know that I do Mylar bags and I get them stocked up. I do big bags or I can take a big bag, cut the bag in half, and then put multiple bags inside of one singer, singular uh, five-gallon bucket. And that way I don't have to open a great big bag if I don't have to. Um, so that's something that we really need to watch out for. Other things that I'm noticing, I like to stock up on these Idaho spuds. Uh, they're a great, um, easy prep to kind of have on the side. And I have, I think I currently have two full boxes of them, but I saw none when I was there. Um, I've got a peanut butter there and some up there. And that's it. I went to get more. Um, and somebody took the last one as I was rounding the corner there. So that's something else to kind of watch for. Uh, they did... Oh, my light shut off. Not that I'm a big fan of it, but the canned chicken, they did have some of that there. Um, they had one area on a shelf with some coffee I've been stocking up here and there I think I've got another one yeah up there and so oh and then I have some down there I am not gonna run out of coffee either but they did not have any molasses at all uh, they were getting low on the tomato sauces I did not pick one up I should have but I just didn't have room in my cart so there's certain things that are starting to get low um, I did pick up some Quaker oats, but that was the very last one. I grabbed the last one. I went ahead and got more oil. Not that I need it right this second, but just in case. And some um, granola bars. The biggest concern was like getting baby wipes, paper towels. They didn't have any paper towels. The toilet paper. Um, they still had cleaning supplies, but it was like big gaps in the shelf where things were empty. And that made me a little concerned that at our local uh, Fred Meyer store, the shelf is just extremely empty. There's so many things that aren't there. It's, it's actually quite ridiculous. And um, I think Safeway was kind of getting that way too. So. I just want to encourage everybody, don't wait till it's too late. Don't be that person that waits to the last minute. So let's talk about getting started um, with your supplies on hand. I highly encourage you to every single week pick something up. You must get water on hand. Water is life. Without water, you can't survive. The most important thing to do is get water. Everybody needs water to survive. Without it, you have nothing. The second thing you need to do is to make sure that you have food for you and your family to eat. It is critical that you have food. Without food and without water, you will not survive. And the object is to survive. Do you have a way to protect yourself? Do you have a backup plan to protect yourself? I suggest you find many ways. We don't always have to have pew pews, but those are definitely a great thing to have on hand, and I happen to love mine. There is. There's only one hole in the red, though. So go for the top dots. The right or left, I don't care. The top dot, same target. Make sure it's a little bit left. 